Well, they're cute, cuddly, and unfortunately facing extinction. Sea otters are facing a crisis, but they may have developed new tools to survive. KXAN's Eric Hendrickson spoke with one University of Texas researcher how this talent is giving these furballs a little extra bite. Living off the coast of California, sea otters are getting a lot of attention from scientists. Monterey Bay is just full of them, so I said, why not? Who doesn't want to work with a fuzzy uh, teddy bear-like animals? Chris Law first studied sea otters while attending the University of California, Santa Cruz, before coming to UT. Sea otters are unique in that they live in the marine environment. They are much bigger than any other otters. Unfortunately, sea otters are facing extinction. The last several years, the population has stabilized at about 3,000. Chris says it comes down to a sea otter's diet. Urchins and abalone are both declining in populations, most uh, likely due to just sea otters eating on them. So they're forced to switch to alternative prey. Which brings us to tools. Sea otters are one of the very few animals that use tools. The best example I can think of that it actually prevents injury are in dolphins. So there's a population in Australia that will use sponges to protect their noses as they're digging through sand. Now sea otters have traded a sponge for rocks, shells, even the side of a boat, all to find a new source of food, clams and snails. And really takes amount of effort to break them open. Chris's latest research is taking a closer look at this behavior and how it benefits the otters. So we were at Paris to see if individuals that use tools more frequently are they actually showing a reduction in tooth damage? Otters have flat teeth that can crack when trying to break into a clam. Turns out the tool users have better teeth and likely a better chance at survival. In order to survive and to be able to eat them, you really need this behavior that basically facilitates them access to those prey items. An amazing behavior from an adorable creature, one that could potentially save their lives. Eric Hendrickson, KXAN News. Researchers say there are 13 species of otters around the world, some of which uh, lives right here in Texas. Very cool. Who knew? God, otters are so cute. I know, they are, they are pretty adorable. And we were at, I can't remember which aquarium, maybe in Galveston, the um, Moody Gardens. Okay. And they had an uh, like an otter tail, you know, from one who had passed, uh, and you could pet it. Okay. Very soft. Interesting. I was like, yeah. that makes me want to pet one even more. Yeah, I've heard that their fur is very thick, so yeah. they don't get cold in the water. So, uh, you know, I bet that's pretty Do soft. Do little too. paws are so cute. I know, okay. they are.